hey what is up youtube welcome back to my channel family i have missed you guys thank you all for joining me on my first helmet unboxing video this helmet will be my helmet that i'll be rocking for the 2022 season as you can see behind me i have two of my current helmets that you have seen me post on social media and a lot of my videos on youtube this is my AGV Pista GP Double R Mugello 2019. And this is an AGV K6 Custom Slim Rides helmet. I'm sure that you guys have seen both of these in a lot of my videos. Now, the helmet that I'm going to unbox today, um, I have been waiting to be released. And it's been sitting in my house for almost two weeks because I really wanted to unbox it and show you guys that raw reaction that I get from it. So you may be asking, well, what is the helmet that Slim Rides has for the 2022 season? And this is the box. It is Vail's world title 2002 championship helmet. And if you do not know, he only wore this helmet once. This is the AGV Pista GP Double R limited edition replica of that championship helmet. And there are only 2,002 of them being made. And I have one of them. So we'll also get to see what number of that population I got. So let's go ahead and start unboxing her. Okay. So the first thing that is in the box is a lightly smoked visor. Take that off, unnecessary. So we have a lightly smoked visor that comes with it. I really actually appreciate that, that's pretty cool. There is a package in here, um, a big bite valve. So this is for the Camelback. Um, if you're not familiar, I'll show you on my current piece of GPRR, but they do come with like Camelback so that you can actually drink water. So if you're not familiar, I'll actually show you on, nope, I actually can't show you on this helmet. So disregard that part <laughs> because I took it out, fun fact, but you'll see it on this new helmet. So this is a big bite valve that comes with, I have never used these um but i actually intend to because track days can get super exhausting for me so i'm gonna actually look into actually getting the camelback and utilizing this this season because it gets really hot outside and i like to stay hydrated the next thing that is in here is oh these are some additional like face fitting pads it looks like um We'll see if these are necessary. Maybe not, but it's really cool that they include these in here so that you can really get that true adaptive fit experience with your helmet. So if you don't really like how your current helmet fits on your head based off of the sizing, you got some extra padding to play around with so that you can get that. I like that. Nice addition. Okay. In here also is a letter still sealed, which is really, really exciting. We'll open this. But I first want to show you. Uh, this thing is light. <laughs> It's light. I know it's got like some stuff in it, but it's still, it's still really, really light. So this is the helmet cover. Very, very nice. It is not like my other AGV um, helmet covers. They're typically just gray, but this one, as you can see, is custom. It's black with the yellow trim, and it does have the world title 2002 on there, along with the Veil 46 on the side. So that is exciting. And what else is inside of the box? 
you have your pin lock, which I'm really glad that AGV um, sends these like automatically with their helmets because it comes in handy for me, particularly in the colder months. I don't need this in the summer months, but in the winter months is when my helmet tends to fog up. So I really appreciate that this is included uh, anytime you purchase an AGV uh, pizza helmet. Okay. So the boxing <laughs> the box itself is actually pretty cool like it's, it's detailed like the box itself <laughs> is pretty cool i really appreciate the simplicity but the details on it as well so i'm excited that i get to have one of these all right what should I do? Should I read the letter first or should I open the helmet? Do you all want to see what the helmet looks like and then read or read first and then say, oh, wow, which one, which one? I say let's open the helmet and give you guys all something pretty to look at while I read the letter. So here we go. <sighs> I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm like a little kid in a candy store. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is taking longer than I thought. All right, here we go. Oh, she is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at her. Oh my gosh. She's got the little salt packets, but look. Look at the detailing on this helmet. She is beautiful. <sighs> I'm so excited to wear her. I'm so excited to wear her. She is beautiful. Oh my goodness. She is beautiful. She is beautiful. She is beautiful. She is beautiful. I even appreciate the clear visor, the, the clear spoiler, sorry, in the back. I do. I'll probably end up changing it, um, but I'll rock it for a little bit until I can kind of figure out what color it is that I would want to put it. Um, but I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging the fact that it's clear. So that's kind of cool. So I'm going to have her sit here for you guys to stare at while I open up this envelope. Okay. Fail 46, world title 2002. So, it reads, the 2002 World Championship marked the beginning of a new era in MotoGP, a genuine revolution with the arrival of the 990cc four-stroke motorbikes for the first time. I was the defending champion. Despite the confidence from the World Championship just won, it could have been an unpredictable transitional season in light of the huge technical developments. It was a triumph astride my Honda RC 211V, my fourth world title. For the Brazilian Grand Prix, Grand Prix in Jacarepaguá, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Brazil, I love you. You're such a beautiful country. A tough race in the wet, which gave me my final victory. We made this helmet with AGV and Aldo Drudi. The graphics are unique and really special to me. There are two stories on the show to celebrate the creativity and triumph of the world championship. The colors of the rainbow and the ever present Sole Luna, sun and moon on one side, meet with the work of an Italian artist entirely handmade in great detail. And that is this bottom piece here that he is describing in his letter. So the sun and moon, solar 
and the rainbow. It meets with this handmade piece by an Italian artist. Um, I think that that's pretty amazing. Pretty, pretty amazing and cool, the detailing behind it. So at the bottom of the letter, it does have a signature. These graphics were worn only on that occasion, never replicated before, making the AGV Pista GPRR even more unmistakable. That's a piece of my story, which I now hope can fit right into yours. <sighs> and from all of that, to sum it all up and to finalize, I have number 617 of the 2002 helmets made in production for the rest of the world. So I hope that you all enjoyed this unboxing video. I'm glad that you took a stop by and checked it out with me. I'm really excited to put it on and to ride with it this season. If you like my content, you like my page, please hit that like button and that subscribe button to see all of my upcoming and my future content. We'll be having some upcoming track days, some bike nights, all of my crazy rides with some of my cool and funny friends. And you'll also get to see all of the cool people that I meet along the way. And you'll also get to enjoy a lot of my moto vlogging series. So. That is it for now. I hope that you guys really love this helmet. I do, I do, I do, I love it. I'll do another spin around for you. You guys can see that here is the mouthpiece for the Camelback here. She's a beauty. Beautiful, 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 beautiful helmet. I am blessed. Thanks. See you all next time, family. Remember to ride safe and keep the rubber side down. I hope to see you guys on the road, on twos, at the track, bike nights. Pull up, let me know where you guys will be at. I am always outside and on twos. Later.